good morning everyone so in the last class uh, we have completed the problems based on the determinants of third order right so there we have uh, solved two important results that is determinant 2a is equal to 4 into determinant a another one is determinant 3a is equal to 27 into determinant a right so and also we have written one note important note right what is determinant k into a determinant k into a equals so the k power n into determinant a where k is the any scalar and n is the order of the matrix a right and also have given one important result in a note in a note in a previous class right determinant a into b is equal to determinant a into determinant b I have told that this is one of the result so let us prove that okay so let us know whether uh, this uh, condition is satisfying or not let us check now okay so here for that let us consider an example of 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 the result na prove maadkobeku andre new 2 cross 2 nadru thagobodu matrices na athwa 3 cross 3 nadru thagond maadi okay so let us know whether the result is satisfying or not okay so here let us consider two matrices let matrix a equals 1 2 1 1 and matrix B, matrix B is 1, 0, 2, 1. Okay. So you can take any matrices. Yaudadar matrix in the Either it may be 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3. Okay. So here to find the LHS, that is determinant AB. First we have to find the matrix AB. Then we have to take the determinant for that. Okay. So first find the matrix AB, that is A into B. Matrix A is 1, 2, 1, 1 into matrix 1, 0, 2, 1. Okay. I think you have, you have, uh, know the mat multiplication of matrices. So, matrices, multiplication of the study maadi dira. So, multiplication heg maad bae kontha gutti dira. So, let us multiply now. So, here, first row, first column. Row by column multiplication. Okay. So, 1 into 1, 1 plus 2, 2, za 4. Okay. Complete row, complete column jati multiplication other it becomes single element. Same row, second column. So 1 into 0, 0 plus 2, 1 za 2. Okay. So next, change the row. Here also row changes. Second row, first column. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 2, 2. That is plus 2. Okay. Second row, second column. 1 into 0, 0 plus 1, 1 za 2. 1. So, this is the matrix AB. So, therefore, matrix AB equals matrix 1 plus 4, 5, 0 plus 2, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 0 plus 1, 1. Okay. So, now find the determinant value. So, take the determinant on both sides. Determinant A into B equals. So, here the bracket changes to vertical line because we are converting matrix form into determinant form. Okay. That is 5, 2, 3, 1. Let us expand this determinant. So, first we have to go for product of principal diagonal. 5, 1, za 5 minus formula. Okay. Next, move for secondary diagonal. Product of secondary diagonal is 3, 2, za 6. What is 5 minus 6? It is minus 1. So, let us consider this as an equation 1. Because this is the LHS. Determinant A into B. So, next, what is the RHS? Determinant A into determinant B. So, first we have to find determinant A and determinant B separately. Then we have to take the multiplication. Okay. So, let us find determinant A equals. Here we have the matrix. So, convert into determinant. Take determinant on both sides. Here, determinant 1, 2, 1, 1. Okay. Let us expand this one. Determinant A equals product of principal diagonal 1 into 1. 1 minus 1 2 za 2. What is 1 minus 2 minus 1? So here we get determinant A value is minus 1. So similarly find determinant B. Take the determinant on both sides. We get determinant B equals. Okay. Determinant 1 0 2 1. Okay. So which is equal to determinant B value is product of principal diagonal 1 into 1 1 minus 2 into 0. 0. So, here determinant B value is 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay. So, here 
what is the RHS they are telling? Determinant A into determinant B. So let us continue here. Okay. Determinant A into determinant B which is equal to determinant A is minus 1 into determinant B value is 1. Okay. So determinant A into determinant B equals minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Call this as an equation 2. See if we can observe that determinant A into B value is minus 1 from equation 1. Determinant A into determinant B is also minus 1 from equation 2. Therefore, from equation 1 and 2, what is the conclusion? Determinant A into B equals determinant A into determinant B. Determinant A into B equals determinant A into determinant B. Problem only determinant A into B formula there that can also be written as determinant A into determinant B. So this is the proof. So here I have taken one example for that important result. Okay. So next move on to area of a triangle. Okay. So here this area of a triangle is very very important for two marks. So two marks is compulsory one question. So triangle. Triangle means we know that there are three vertices for a triangles. Okay. So here let us consider the triangle ABC with vertices x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. So here we can observe that the vertices are in the form of coordinate form, right? X comma Y and coordinate axis only there. That is X axis and Y axis. Let us assume this triangle now is in coordinate axis. Okay, that means X axis and Y axis. Just I have taken only the triangle, okay? That three vertices are in the form of X1, Y1, X2, Y2 and X3, Y3. So there is one simple formula to find the area of a triangle. There is no proof for this. So directly we can take the formula. Okay. So here area of a triangle is given by area of a triangle is given by a simplest formula. So we have to recall only this formula. Okay. Half into determinant x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3, y3, 1. Okay. So, you get 2 marks here. Here, 2 marks important. One question, either they will tell to find the area of a triangle. Okay. Area of a triangle, find out what is the Or, find the constant k value. Find the vertices k and theta. Suppose, we have 3 vertices here. That is, one point instead of that point, if they give the constant k, then we have to find out that k. Okay. Or show that the given points are collinear and theta. Okay. Collinear and theta. So, area and the Suppose, the area of a triangle is there. Point A. Suppose, now we point A in a compress mode. B, C and the line will talk about it. This is the base of the triangle. Right. B and C. Okay. So, the point A is there. It is compress mode. Suppose, the point A is there. It is compress mode. B, C line will talk about it. Point A is there. Aga, what is the area of a triangle? Is that area is existing there? No. Area of a triangle is zero. Okay. Then we tell that area of a triangle is zero. Yavaga area of a triangle is zero. If that three points are collinear. So we are observing that. No day. Point A na. So BC triangle base is A point A na compress maadi. A point A na tokoman BC line mel tokoman ditre. So, the area is exist agala. We triangle exist agata ilandre area il barute. So, area is agate zero agate. Since area if any area if area of a triangle is zero, then we can clearly say that that three points are collinear. Okay. Suppose our three points collinear and theta direct again and tato gobodo area of a triangle is zero. Okay. This is one of the important point we have to recall. Okay. Our suppose three points in a koto show that the points are collinear and theta so collinear by using determinant and the kurtarili. Okay. So question kelbe kadri nimge. Find the area of a triangle and theli three vertices in a koto. Last ge by using determinants and theli. We have to use only this formula. Okay. So the area of a triangle using determinant and theli tari andre. Namge vectors the area of a triangle and the barate. Right. Half into uh, that uh, 
मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर ए क्रॉस वेक्टर बी सो अली फार्मुला बरते सेम अदे फार्मुले बट इफ ए ट्रयांगल को बै यूसिंग डिटर्मेंट अंत पर्टिक्युल हेतर फार्मुलाको शो दट द पॉइंट आर् कोलियर अंतर कोलियर प्रूव मेरे इफ वि गेट दि ऐरिया आफ ए ट्रयांगल जीरो दैन वि कैन क्लियरली कंक्लूड दट द्री पॉइंट आर् कोलियर ई थिंक इट इज अंडर्स्टूड रईट सो दिस टू पॉइंट आर् वेरी वेरी इंपारटेंट सो इन फार्मल क्वेश्चन केल्तर फैन दि इक्वेशन आफ दि लाइन अंत ओके सो क्वेश्चन प्रॉब्लम सात हे नमेंग आटोमेटिकल ऐडिया होते ना लेट इस मोर्न टू द प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड आन एरिया आफ दि ट्रयांगल ओन रिकॉल दिस फार्मुला दट इज हाफ इंटू मैग डिटर्मेंट एक्स वन वै वन वन एक्स टू वै टू वन अंड एक्स थ्री वै थ्री वन ओके सो दिस इज दि फार्मुला सी द प्रॉब्लम फस्ट वन फैंड दि ऐरिया आफ दि ट्रयांगल सो वि हव टू फैंड दि ऐरिया आफ द ट्रयांगल whose vertices are 1,3 2,5 and 7,5 they have given three vertices of the triangle using this vertices we have to find the area of the triangle okay so i have forgotten to tell you that area of a triangle is denoted by delta okay so here the notation of area of a triangle is delta or you can use the word here the delta or area of a triangle area of a triangle okay so this two are same thing so here what is given let us solve the problem now what is the given so here given three vertices right the vertices are 1,3 2,5 and 7,5 okay so in general if we want to take the points the first point is in the form of x1 y1 the second point is x2 y2 and the third point is x3 y3 these are the general form of vertices of the triangle okay so now let us find the area of the triangle area of the triangle means the notation is delta okay delta is equal to what is the formula half into determinant x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 X three, Y three, one. Okay. See here. Yeah? Now we have to substitute the values. That is half into determinant. What is X one Y one one? X one Y one value is first point one three one. Okay. X two Y two means second point two five one. So third point X three Y three is seven five one. Okay. So now we have to expand this determinant. Since it is third order determinant, we have to use the sign notation plus minus plus. Okay, so write this one by two as it is outside the determinant. That is delta equals half into half into. Okay, see here. Here the first element is one, so sign is plus plus one into determinant. Delete that column. And that row, we get the second order determinant five one five one. Okay, so here five one five one. So now for second element, sine is minus minus three into minus three into determinant. Okay, so here delete that column and that row, we get two one seven one. So here two one. Seven one. Now let us move on to the last element. What is the sign of third element? Sign is plus plus one into. So here plus one into determinant. Okay. So here determinant. Delete that row and that column. Two five seven five. So here two five seven five. So if we want, if you want to expand directly, you can skip this step. Okay. So no need to write this step. So here delta is equal to half into. So here there is one outside the determinant. Write that one as it is. Let us expand the second order determinant now. Five one za five minus five one za five. First is product of principal diagonal minus product of secondary diagonal. Next is Minus three into two one za two minus seven one za seven plus 
1 into, so here plus 1 into 2 5 za 10 minus 7 5 za 35. So, okay. Here delta equals half into, okay. So, 5 1 into, first simplify the brackets. 5 minus 5, 0. Minus 3 into 2 minus 7 minus 5. Plus 1 into 10 minus 35 is minus 25. So here delta equals half into 1 into 0. 0. Okay. Minus into minus becomes plus 3 fives are 15. So here plus into minus minus 1 into 25 is 25. So delta equals half into what is 0 plus 15? 15, 15. 15 minus 25 is minus 10. Okay. So since these two are in multiplication. So here 2 ones are 2 fives are gets cancelled. So we are getting delta is equal to minus 5. See here there is a minus. Okay. Minus 5 into 1 is minus 5. So here we are getting what is delta? Delta means area of the triangle. We know that area is always positive. If we get the negative solution, so we have to write in a positive solution, okay? Nam ge answer negative bandro. Area of a triangle negative bandro, we have to write in the positive value because area is always positive. So therefore, area of a triangle is plus 5 unit of the area is square units. So therefore, the area of a triangle is plus 5 square units. So now let us move on to the second problem. Okay. Find the area of the triangle. Here also we have to find the area of the triangle. Whose vertices are? So vertices is given. What are the vertices given? So here 3 comma 8 minus 4 comma 2 5 comma 1. These are the three vertices. Let us take the first vertices is x1, y1. Second vertices is x2 y2 and third vertices is x3 y3 okay so we know that what is the formula of area of a triangle so area of the triangle that is delta delta is equal to half into determinant x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 okay so now let us substitute the values delta equals 1 by 2 into determinant x1 y1 x1 y1 value is 3 8 1 x2 y2 x2 y2 is minus 4 2 1 x3 y3 is 5 1 1 okay so now we have to expand this determinant so sign notation is plus minus plus okay so here delta equals half into half into so here first element is 3 sin is plus plus 3 into so let us expand directly okay so you will direct marana delete that column and that row we get the second order determinant 2 1 1 1 let us expand here itself 2 1 za 2 minus 1 1 za 1 okay product of principal diagonal minus product of secondary diagonal let us move on to the second term what is the sign of second term? Minus. Minus 8 into. See here. We are considering the element 8. Delete that column and that row. Okay. If we are deleting that column and that row, we get minus 4, 1, 5, 1. Let us expand. Minus 4 into 1. Minus 4. So formula is minus. Okay. Minus 4 into 1 is minus 4. Minus 1 into 5, 5. Okay. So now let us move to the last element. Sign is plus 1 into delete that column and that row. Okay. So if we delete that column and that row, we get the second order determinant minus 4, 2, 5, 1. Let us expand here itself. Minus 4 into 1, minus 4. Okay. Minus 5, 2 is a 10. So now we have to simplify this to get the area of a triangle that is delta. Delta equals 1 by 2 
into 3 into first simplify the brackets okay 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 8 into minus 4 minus 5 minus 9 plus 1 into minus 4 minus 10 is minus 14. So here the area of a triangle equals half into 3 ones are 3 minus into minus becomes plus so 9 eights are 72 plus into minus minus 1 into 14 14. So here delta is half into so 3 plus 72 is 75 75 minus 14 is 61. So here delta equals 1 by 2 into 16, 61, 61 into 1 and 61 by 2. So this is the area of the triangle, therefore the unit is square units. So now let us recall one important note. I have told you in the explanation, right? So when the area of a triangle is 0, when area of a triangle is 0, if the three points are said to be collinear, okay, if delta is 0, then, then we can say that the points, if delta is 0, then the points or vertices, okay, or then the points are said to be collinear, okay. So, recall this point. If area of the triangle is 0, then the points are said to be collinear okay so there is one important question so here let us take the question show that show that the points the points a comma b plus c b comma c plus a and c comma a plus b show that the points these three points are collinear. So here, see here, we have to show that these three points are collinear. Collinear means what is the condition we have to get? If we get area of a triangle is 0, then we can clearly conclude that the given points are collinear. Okay. So now, let us solve now. So here, first let us take Area of a triangle. First, area of a triangle in a tokondo, area of a triangle in a find out matta hogana. Suppose some ki area of a triangle zero bandre. So again conclude madabudo. The given points are collinear. Okay. So three points could either first point is a comma b plus c. Okay. Second point is b comma c plus a. And third point is c comma a plus b. Okay. So first point is notated by x1 y1 in general form. So, second point is x2, y2 and the third point is x3, y3. Okay. So, then now consider the formula. What is the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is half into determinant x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3, 1. Okay. So, now let us substitute the values. Delta equals half into determinant x1, y1 is a, b plus c, 1. So, second point is b, c plus a, 1. Third point is c, a plus b, 1. Okay. So, now we have to expand this determinant. Since it is 3 cross 3, use the sign notation plus, minus, plus. Okay. Expand carefully because there are some... Sum of two terms here. Okay. So here delta equals delta equals half into. So let us expand here. First element is a sine is plus plus a into determinant. See here. Delete that column and that row. We get c plus a 1 a plus b 1 in second order determinant. Okay a plus b 1. So now let us move on to the second element. What is the second element? b plus c. So sine is minus. Here since there is sum of two terms use the bracket here. Minus minus b plus c into determinant. Okay. 
delete that column and that row. So that row and that column we get B1, C1. Determinant B1, C1. Okay. So next. So let us move on to the last element. Last element is 1. Sign is plus. So shall I write in the next step? This is a continuity. Plus 1 into determinant. Okay. Delete that column and that row. We get B, C plus A, C, A plus B. So here B, C plus A, C, A plus B. So close the bracket. Okay. So here we have reduced to the second order determinant. Again we have to expand this one. That is delta equals half into. Write that half as it is. Into. So outside we have A. Write that as it is. So A into. See here. C plus A into 1. We get C plus A itself. So if we multiply any number with 1 means we get the same number. Minus. Formula is minus. 1 into A plus B. A plus B. Since here we have minus. Use the bracket. A plus B. There is a sum of 2 terms. Sum of 2 terms 0. Or get a minus bandre. So we have to take the bracket. So first determinant is expanded. Next move to the next term. Minus. Minus. B plus C into. Okay. Minus B plus C. Write that as it is. Now expand the second order determinant. First product of principal diagonal. B into 1, B minus. So, 1 into C, C. Okay. See it. I think this is clear. Right. So, next. Next move on to the next element. Plus. Plus 1 into. Plus 1 into. So, B into A plus B. Shall I multiply here itself? B into A plus B means this B is multiplied for both the terms. B into A. A B. Plus B into B. B square. Is it clear? So product of principal diagonal is completed. Minus. Minus. Product of secondary diagonal. Since there is a sum of two terms. Use the bracket here. Okay. So C into C. C square. Plus C into A. C A. Or A C. C A. Okay. So now. Delta equals half into half into a into okay a into so here c plus a multiply this minus inside the bracket minus into plus minus a minus into plus minus b okay close the bracket minus see here i have written that minus as it is yes this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b yes a plus b into a minus b instead of a b here we have b c Okay, so that can be written as b square minus c square by using the formula. Next, move on to plus 1 into plus 1 into c here a b okay plus b square. So here there is minus outside the bracket simplify minus into c square and then minus c square okay minus into plus minus c a last term is c a. Okay, so here delta equals half into, see here in this bracket plus a minus a gets cancelled. Okay, there is a outside, simplify inside the bracket, a into c, a c. Okay, so a into minus b minus a b. Is it clear? So first bracket is completed. Next, simplify this minus inside the bracket, minus into plus becomes minus b square. Minus into minus becomes plus c square. Is it clear? Okay. Plus. Plus. Here there is 1. If we multiply 1 with whole bracket, we get the same term. That is a b plus b square minus c square minus c a. Okay. See here. Here we have plus a c. Here we have minus a c. C a means a c itself. So plus term minus term gets cancelled okay minus a b plus a b here also minus a b plus a b gets cancelled here minus b square plus b square same terms they are in opposite sign means the terms gets cancelled okay plus c square minus c square so these two also gets cancelled here we can observe that 
all the terms are cancelled. Okay, therefore this value becomes 0. 0 into 1 by 2 is 0. Therefore delta is equal to 0. Here we are getting area of a triangle is 0 means. So if area of a triangle is 0, then we can conclude that the given points are collinear. So therefore the given points the given points are collinear. Okay, so this is the proof.